Yeah. But that's fair enough, though, isn't it, Shawnee? I mean, all right. Oh, wow, ogres. But the people who are complaining, they chose to do it, though. They chose to do it, right? They chose to do it. And now they're multi-millionaires. So, I don't know. I don't see the problem. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, if, uh, if before I met Senai, if, uh, if, uh, let's see, who could I think of? Who could I think of? Oh, this is a good one. Who would it be in England? Who would it be in England? Uh, I can't actually think of anybody. Janet Street Porter. <laughs> oh, that'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> Janet Street Porter was like... <laughs> oh, I can't do the voice. If I could do the voice, that'd be really good. If Janet Street Porter was like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've got to come to my hotel room, and then you'll get to uh, you'll get to be in loads of movies and make millions and millions of dollars. I'd be like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they can f crowd follow a decade later. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anyone that looks like, like I don't know. Oh, Vanessa Feltz. Vanessa Feltz. That'd be pretty bad, wouldn't it? Vanessa Feltz. She's like. Oh, I feel a little bit ill just thinking about uh, about Vanessa Feltz. Yeah, it shouldn't be a thing. Yeah, obviously, like obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it shouldn't be a thing, but everyone knows it's a thing, don't they? Like it's always been a thing. Like everybody in 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 the civilized world has heard of the casting couch, haven't they? So yeah, obviously it shouldn't be a thing. Yeah, I'm not saying it should be a thing, but I'm just still saying it was it was still their it was still their choice, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, Holly will have a movie. All right, well. <laughs> but he denies, he denies all those charges, doesn't he? So. I mean, I don't know. Until until everything's proven, you can't really say anything, can you? Right, this is a bit fucked, isn't it? Because I can't even, This was a formation to deny the LOS. Um, <laughs> which seems a bit dumb. Because you not, can't really deny the LOS. But then on the other hand, I don't want him banging on a guard... Guard Linos, do I? And Linos can three dice. Snotlings anyway. I wish I'd won the toss. It's pretty rowdy, isn't he? He's got two rerolls as well. Should have checked his record. He might be like an ogre savant. Uh, that was that was a, that's a magic card, isn't it? Ogre savant, and the flavour text is he's an oxymoron, which is uh, which I thought was pretty good. To be honest, I I like Kevin Spacey's I like Kevin Spacey's kind of apology because he's like, look, I fucked a lot of boys. <laughs> Maybe it was you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I, was, I can't remember, but you know. <laughs> I thought that was funny. He could have easily just been like, no, no, I'd never, I'd never do anything like that. <laughs> but he's like, fuck it, I don't know. <laughs> I like that he was kind of honest. <laughs> Maybe not the best. Maybe not the best uh, thing. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the wisest thing to say. But, you know. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I realised that was us saying it. I was like, oh, this might get clipped. <laughs> okay now <laughs> um no Kogel, you can you can follow the uh i didn't get any pms it was in <laughs> uh i don't know i don't know if it was butt anger because i think you know it's more like i'm gay i might have fucked him <laughs> You know, Whereas if he'd been like, if he was, you know, if I, if it was, let's say, if it was a guy who was straight, he'd be like, nah, what do I want to fuck boys? What do I want to fuck a boy for? I'm married, you know? But he's just like, look, fucked a lot of boys. I didn't check all of their fucking IDs. He might have been 14, all right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I thought that was just funny. It was just funny, wasn't it? Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know, I don't really think it was that much of a deflection either. Everyone's saying that, but I just think he's just like making it clear that like, you know, nobody would lol, no, I, I think you're being a bit excessive there, Mr. Yem and Dem. But, people, um, people do like punching people and stuff, don't they? Like, they, they, they'd laugh if like, I don't know, it's like generally people hurting themselves, they laugh at and stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Sean. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, I think that was kind of what he was trying to say, wasn't it, Minz? I think he was trying to say, I think that's more what he was trying to say, you know? <laughs> right anyway it, no, no one died in between in between all of this bullshit nobody died I think I'm going to assassinate this guy Who got the ball? Anybody or nobody? It's not me. Nobla, sorry. Nobla. Yeah, that's true. On uh, And he always, like, he never said what he was, didn't he? Yeah, exactly there. Yeah, exactly, Jam Toast, yeah. <laughs> what <a> nice deflection. <laughs> oh, shit. But, um... I was trying to think of an example. I had an, I had an example in my mind of where it's a lot better to be a woman. But I don't know, there's a lot more things now where like, you know, people say, you know, some ridiculous videos on the internet, on Facebook, and then people say, well, this woman's a dickhead. She deserved to get a punch because, you know, if you want equal rights, it's fair enough. And a lot of people do seem to be more on board with that these days. It is, isn't it, Lemon? It's good. Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, I'd like it if everyone could just stop talking about it, please. <laughs> it's a bit dodgy, isn't it? The interesting thing about uh, 
about older boys is the average height is five foot seven. Just quietly. Doing something next turn would be good, wouldn't it? Better than getting three diced. Good lad. that you mean it's because <laughs> it's because yeah that was it it's because of flash binder that was it sleep was safe <laughs> i was just saying it because it's that's how tall flash is <laughs> <laughs> that's all it was it was just because it's the height of flash yeah i should clarify that if people are just watching on uh <laughs> on 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 Twitch now, seeing Sleep with Sif didn't get it, <laughs> and on YouTube for the benefit of that, it's because Fashbinder is ridiculously short. So that was that was why I said the tiny little human Fashbinder. I went with his height. It's because I was, also I was looking at Snotlings and thinking they're about the same size as Fash, and then so that's why I mentioned that. So there you go. Two thousand year old news, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, yeah, Guru Metal, but it's funnier. It's funnier to say he's ridiculously short, isn't it? That's the thing. It's not about reality, it's about fake news, isn't it? Got an assist there already. Fucking rough. I guess the, this black orc has to isolate that ogre. Sandwich these uh, snotlings now. Maybe the guard could have gone in there so he could have won. No, I, there's no guard there. Alright. Bit rowdy. Yeah. It depends, try, because, you know, it's like um, in America the average height is like 5'11 or something. Oh, you were creating fake news. All right, super sick. Well done. Um,
<laughs> I have to convert those to freedom units. <laughs> But here's, here's the thing, right, for the average height. It depends what average it is, isn't it, you know? There's no such, there's no such thing as average, right? So if you, you with, when you say average, you've got to say mean, median, or mode. Now, obviously, the mean is going to be on the short side because if, let's say, 5 foot 11 is the mode or median, or 5 10, there's going to be more 4 foot people than there are 9 foot people. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, you know, more, there's going to be more four foot guys than there are eight foot guys, right? Because there's going to be no eight foot guys. So, so the average is going to be kind of like on the lower side, isn't it? That's the thing. That's the thing. So, um... Oh yeah, dude, I need to have that, don't I? I need to have that on the uh, thing again. Yeah, Aussies are shorter than Brits, I didn't think that. Yeah, I thought 5'10", I'm 5'11". So you go over average, but that seems ridiculous because everyone I know is over 6 foot. Is this taking out the fifth and ninety fifth though? Is is that included? But even then, even then, the sixth is still going to be lower than the than the ninety fourth, isn't it? So. <laughs> Brexit shows the average IQ of a British person is pretty low. That's true. That's true. Wow, Japan are pretty short, eh? 5-5, five, five. holy shit. Like, I knew it was a joke, because they, they really like tall people, don't they, in Japan and that. And my, my mate's six foot seven, and we were like, holy shit, you'll be, you'll be worshipped as a god in Japan. <laughs> and uh, he, he obviously would have been. If he, he did go, actually, but he said they all just kept themselves themselves. Right, what's the, what's the tr crack here? I want to be able to chain my guy onto the ball, don't I, somehow? Can do it with a blitz as well. Maybe it's not gonna happen. Maybe just knock these two guys down. That would work, wouldn't it? Oh, he's got a guy there. Uh. No, there's no way to get the guards in. Good up, he'll block him. And if it's a push, push him to there. I don't, don't know where he went. So good uphill him, push him to there, and then go for the blitz in. So if I'm going to do that, you know, try to make some safe moves first for once. If I push him, I follow. If I get both down, it doesn't achieve anything. But if I push him, I just follow. Yeah, so put him in there. He chills the push. Good guy. Good guy, average Joe. Oh, you 
Cunt. Hmm. Well, it's not ideal, is it? <laughs> the story of the Christmas man. Yeah, I need the cunt. I don't know if I can do it right now or not. I don't know. Shall I try? Got to save my apple. I haven't had the reserve. And, uh, oh, alright, this is going to be a bit shit. Fuck's sake. I guess I've got to do that. Let's see if I can get these working on this screen. Um... good it's on it's on here so I can yeah I can add the thing so so if you want to do sound effects just do them and then I'll add them as the, as they happen so I'll add Dode now um. that is simply not true the hater does not support your assertion Right, I, I knew someone did Dode, right, Dode's done. And then I'll, I'll write them down and then as I go through them, Dode works. Dode is good, Dode right, Dode works. Sparta, yep. Alright, let's go Sparta. I need to record myself shouting this is Sparta. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't be doing it in my turn, eh? It's simply not true. Hmm. Not sure if that's working right. Anyway, let's, let's get back to this. Um, this is pretty tough now. After, uh... After getting three dice on the ball, hasn't done me any favours, has it? I can power him, that would be good. He could one dice him. Now he could one dice him that would free up the guard. Then the guard could come in, he could two dice him, he could two dice him. But a one dice without block doesn't seem good, does it? I right, just two dice this guy. Fuck, that was shit. Oh, he's gonna stand there, isn't he? Doesn't matter though. It's actually, he probably won't stand there. Okay, three plus. It's just like making a dodge. It's not that bad.
I don't know if the camera moved or I was just retarded. But it wasn't good. Oh man, I can't fucking do these sounds while I'm trying to play at the same time. There you go, that's done. Sparta works. No if, no. I doubt they will either. I think I'll pester, um... I think I'll pester the dude, Nethios. I'll pester Nethios about it. And then hopefully, fingers crossed. Um... You know, it won't count. I mean, it would definitely 100% be a bit, be a win. But I'd rather it wasn't counted than it be a loss. <laughs> yeah, it would have been a quad skull anyway. Fucking hell. Right, Should, surely can free up somebody now, but it's too late, isn't it? He's gonna fucking score. And then I'll have two turns to score with orcs. That's fucking not good. I can't even fucking free people up very well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double geophyte at uphill block. <laughs> that doesn't seem like the fucking smartest move in the world, does it? Then he can just go diagonally, can't he? One, two, three, four, five, six. One geophyte uphill. But then this would have to be a one dice block. Well, it's a two plus. I've seen it happen in the movies. Not Kevin Spacey's movies, though. I never watched them. Tackles on at least one. Oh, fuck, no, I'll stay and then. No, I'll stay and then. You can still blitz away anyway, so fuck it, follow. Right. V gets the pressure on by going to here. Then he can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Geophyte and uphill block. Or he could go double GFI, then he could go dodge double GFI, and then he could GFI to one dice. I think the uphill's got to be better than that, hasn't it? But then on the other hand, double GFIing means he's got the blitz to score. And this one, ah, but he followed, shit, so that would free him up, which would be pretty bad. If he hadn't followed, that would have been great, wouldn't it, because now... The double GFI would mean that he couldn't escape. This is the thing, he can't escape here, can he? Um, like, you'd have to chain him somehow, or dodge. So I think it's worth the trying. All right, now I can try a one dice on the ball. A 
I've got to re-roll it, haven't I? I'm 50-50 getting down. Muldrifster would re-roll it. <laughs> that gives him the chain. <laughs> oh, but he can't get the angle unless he dodges, so... The dodge is, but at least he's got a dodge though, you know, by, by making them out, by making these GFIs and everything, at least it meant that he had to dodge, he couldn't just blitz his way out. Obviously blitzing his way out would be, would be, you know, ridiculously more reliable. Also it's a 2 plus to activate Bonehead anyway, isn't it? But he'd much rather be able to 2 dice to score than, than a dodge to score, wouldn't he? And there's a chance of the two turn. Yeah, he's just gonna dodge, and he? Might, you know, might not even dodge, but he should. Fifty fifty Bastard. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Looking scored on by ogres. How embarrassing. And I stole that. <laughs> the worst thing I could have done was three dice in the ball carrier. Because <laughs> it just gave the ball to a fucking ogre, didn't it? <laughs> I would have dodged away because if he, you know he's he's given up a minus two dice block, that's too likely to fail. I mean, it's just better odds, isn't it? Him making the dodge is is seventy five percent he scores. If he lets me block him, it's fifty percent he doesn't score. You know, so. Um, that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? Oh wow, he's he's got, he's got an all men's weird setup. Where I don't know, is this is this good? Is this easily exploitable? I don't know. A quick snap would be glorious, completely glorious, wouldn't it? Right, Imperator Augustus obviously trying to get the completion here. Is this just incredibly dumb what he's done here, or is it incredibly smart? It means that I've got a power snotling, doesn't it? But I've got three dice with Mighty Blow, so there's a good chance of powering the snotling. Tag him if I power him. Can tag him, can potato down, and it won't even be bad. I 
And he can throw snotlings though, can't he? Fuck, he can throw snotlings to, uh... To make things happen, holy shit. Just blitz and then see what happens. Oh no, I can't go through the middle! <gasps> oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh god, I'm so bad. Should have gone down the sideline. <laughs> right. Cheeky double skull, just what we need. He obviously has to make at least the throw harder. And now I've just got to make this dodge, haven't I? Oh no, I can blitz here. Alright, so it's not so bad. I just can't do it, mighty blow, do I? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh dear <laughs> Oh fucking hell Fucking dumb, innit? <laughs> See, that's why I tend to not reroll one dice blocks more. <laughs> it's just fucking stupid, wasn't it? But yeah, I could have gone down that side, couldn't I? If I'd powered him, I could have gone. I could have potatoed with that guy. Yeah, the throne snotling, but he's got he's got a tackle zone. On the, there's a tackles on the ball, isn't there? So basically, for, if he landed in range, you'd have been in the tackle zone, I think. Probably. One, two, three, four, five. So you'd have had to landed here or here. You'd just had to land on it. One, two, three. Four, five, six. No, he wouldn't. So he'd have, he would have had to He could have landed here, and then gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, so he could have landed there and then got it. That would have been unlucky, wouldn't it? Yeah, only one throw. Yeah, yeah. It takes your. Uh, it takes your throwing action for the turn, and ogres actually and well and. Halflings and goblins have a buff of um, have the buff of you don't need to declare the action. So, like you know, if you're playing by the actual real rules, you would have to declare the pass action, and then if he if he boneheaded, you couldn't pass. And the good thing about cyanide, well, blood ball three for you know the stunty teams is they can just activate him. 
and then if you boneheads they can still try pass with another one so they do get a nice little buff there but it's only marginal anyway really <laughs> nuffle bb god <laughs> yeah getting pretty rare it's ducky's rules though so he's just abandoned me he's abandoned the orcs I, th I think <laughs> I think Ducky doesn't favour Orcs after they lost against Brats. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, like it's <laughs> it would be pretty dumb if they could throw lots, but you could have it. Um... <laughs> You could have it won, but yeah, not have to declare it. Would be all right. Throwing the bomb, throwing the bomb, doesn't consume your pass action. No kiss a turn, because there are teams on fumble that can throw several bombs in a turn. Yeah, Brett's maybe out of the way. That's <laughs> funny, isn't it? Going seven and zero with Brett, and then getting getting. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's not it's not the Orcs' fault they've lost a game. <laughs> Give me SPP. Oh, I wouldn't prefer Blood Bowl without humour. I think the the humour is essential part of what makes Blood Bowl Blood Bowl. However, I do think you could tone down the most look based parts of it, and it would still be fun. And it would still be enjoyable for casuals and stuff. And it might even be more fun for casuals if you turn down some of the ridiculous effects. People are quick to like act like, you know, toning down the randomness would make it worse for beginners or whatever, or more casual people, but not necessarily. It might make it better for them too. You know, Blood Bowl's on a scale from chess to Yahtzee, isn't it? And just because at the moment it's it's like, you know, let's say on a scale of 1 to Yahtzee, <laughs> of chess to Yahtzee being 1 to 10, maybe at the moment it's a 7. And, you know, I'm just saying maybe it could be a 6 or a 5. But then everyone says, ho ho, if you don't want dice to ruin games, play chess, and that's that's not, that's such a dumb, it's not even an argument, you can't even call it an argument, it's such a dumb thing to say, isn't it? There's a scale, and it doesn't have to be exactly where it is on the scale, does it? Oh, this is sunny as well, shit, didn't even notice that, eagle eyes, shall we Right, he's got ten. So got the uh got the man advantage. Just have to score relatively quickly. And uh remove more snotlings, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a different game. I just want Blood Bowl to be slightly... Um, yeah, fame, fame plus two pitch invasion is idiotic, isn't it? It's just idiotic. See, there you go. Remove, all the, remove the dice and all randomness is solved. Oh, dear. <laughs> you know? That's the thing. You know? 
I, I would modify, I would heavily modify the game, you know, that's the thing. Yeah. Yeah, there is a middle ground, you know, it's the, it's on a scale, isn't it? Like, you take out the, or you, you can, you don't even need to take out the kickoff events, you could just simply tone down the kickoff events, and the pendulum would swing a little bit, isn't it? You know, you don't have to, you don't have to go remove them. Like, I don't know, people are just like, <laughs> to put it bluntly. Yeah, exactly. I don't. I don't want the kickoffs removed and fun removed. I'd. I'd like them to still be wacky and fun and give give people who are you know down, but not out. Give them a chance. You know all this kind of stuff. I'm really not for removing randomness. Just toning it down a little bit. To me, that's quite reasonable. It's going to be a long score, isn't it? Because it's going to have to be. <sighs> what is it? Um, pick up here. That's one turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then second turn up to there. Third turn there, hand off. To there and then four so it's turn four score at the absolute earliest Rookie shithead can get blocked. <laughs> no offence. <laughs> no offence to Ducky. <laughs> or the last frogman. But um, the rookies are the ones getting punched, aren't they, obviously. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I want somebody two squares in next turn and stuff. God, this is rough. I should start fouling. I forget I've got a reserve a lot of the time. Yeah, fouling will get will get Ducky's favour, yeah, that's true. Yeah, true Eric behind that. Of course bad dice happen, but that doesn't mean to say look, it would be easy to make the dice more crazy, wouldn't it, you know? What what I don't like is how people feel the need to defend Bud Ball as if the balance of luck is absolutely correct and there's no there's no middle ground which is which is simply not true is it you know there's no who knows where the perfect balance is it it's there's no reason to believe that this is as good as it can be 
So, you know. <laughs> yeah, think so. You know, that's the thing. It's like there's um. He can block now, can't he? This is hard to get a two dice, isn't it? Might have to block with the uh, blitz with the uh, black orc. Should have done safe moves first. Pretty rough, he's going to have to base him, isn't he? Get in there, Duckster. I might have to take that, but then I don't want to get punched before he gets the ball. Might need these rerolls though. Fuck. <sighs> Shit. Well, you, you joke about that by side scent, but then there was a really interesting thing on Reddit saying, um, saying you know that their their thing is that everyone starts at fourteen hundred TV, and uh, which means that the starting teams have like loads of players and eight rerolls, um, which isn't so bad. Yeah, that's true, Eric behind me. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, there's already plenty of people like that in the community, like that that guy who posted this fourteen hundred TV thing. He ended up deleting his post, or it got deleted by the mods or whatever. And it's like, you know, that was kind of interesting, but no one really... Fuck, he's blitzed him. I can hand off the other guy, but I should have moved them forward. Shit. Maybe I should have re-rolled that fucking buff down. Because I just don't hand off now. Try to score on turn five. It's not worth failing the the, the handoff, is it? I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not complaining about football. I'm just saying my personal opinion is it could be different, maybe better. Right, he can block him and then get cover out for his potato. I've got a potato with him. He can go there, hand it off. He can potato. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he goes one, two, three, four, five out in front. And the other guy goes behind. It's fucking horrible, but I don't really see an alternative. But like going for the potato is obviously more risky. So I guess I could just come up here. Mm. 
Fuck it, you only live twice. No completion from Rare Augustus. Oh wow, didn't even fail. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Just a three plus. Yes. So now he can only uphill, can't he? Unless uh, an ogre runs around. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. He could dodge, couldn't he, with a ogre? That makes that much harder. I should have put him there. Hmm, no. Oh, no. Yeah, the infamous eye cage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the preemptive mute is where it's at, man. It's the best thing about Blood Bowl, to be honest, because like it obviously sucks that you you miss some people who are nice guys and stuff or whatever. But they're in a minority, aren't they? Even in like a niche game like this. But the thing about the thing about FPS and stuff like that is at least the game doesn't last two hours and you haven't lost it in the first minute because of your teammate. Imagine that. Imagine if like the things that happen in Blood Bowl happened in like a multiplayer game and it was that thrown rock or whatever was the fault of your teammate. Could you even imagine that? Holy shit, that would that would incite so much rage. It would be unbelievable. <laughs> Stand him up for no reason, get killed. Fuck off. I didn't need to stand him up. I could have taken the edge, obviously, but. I just didn't need to stand him up. He wasn't doing anything by standing up. Apart from fucking, fucking everything up. <sighs> Pretty sad to lose a mighty blow guy. Maybe his edge two would have been worth keeping. Yeah, exactly. New rule. Apple can't fail. Imagine that. Why not? Why not just have the Apple works? <laughs> but no, you can't have anything just works in Blood Bowl. I don't know what the ratio of nice guys is in Blood Bowl, but they're pretty rare as a rule, I, I think. So this is definitely a one dice to free him, not worth it. Better just do one dice block. Two dice him, try to get him. Oh, 
hopefully he does it wrong. Which I think he probably no no he didn't did he? Three plus three plus to score. Three plus three plus two plus four. Three plus four plus two plus four. Oh my god, he went in the wrong square. <laughs> Just fucking score this turn. Three plus two plus. Let's go. Yeah, cost. I'm gonna lose against Ogres. Fuck this game. Right, I don't you care about the loss anymore, do I? Oh, hello, Sana eighty nine. Yeah, maybe birds are the answer. Oh, Nocha. Oh, the game's going. The games are going <laughs> unimaginably bad. <laughs> I mean, at least the at least this team got fucked last game anyway, you know, by cyanide. At least at least this team got fucked by cyanide, so it didn't really matter so much anyway. Maybe I should have just waited and tried to score next turn. But you know, orcs aren't the fastest team, are they? So I thought four turns to turn them over is what I'd need. Maybe I shouldn't have tried it. But I'm also running out of players. It's not like it's not like it was easy to score next turn. Yeah, could do Augers again. Champs lad is ogres. Be the top ogres with like 4-0 or something. Glorious! Congratulations, Jimmy. You've now stolen forty dollars from me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sudo Nim. Not just not just forty dollars. There's the bits as well. So <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for staying fantastic. Ah oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh man. Yeah, Morgan and Bertha. They can get Brickfarth though, can't they? Wouldn't you just rather have Brickfarth? Ducky to the rescue. Doesn't pray to himself clearly. <laughs> yeah, pseudonym you did, yeah. Yeah, brick and grot is pretty good because you're replacing two snotlings with one star. So you could have eight ogres 
and one goblin and then only two snotlings that's not even bad well it is but you know what i mean <laughs> it's not so bad <laughs> Yeah, I saw Sean losing to Ogres, oh man. It's pretty bad when you lose to Ogres. Like, it happens sometimes, doesn't it? If I'd, if I'd tried to draw against them, I'd have drawn against them, but... Well, I haven't said that, I did take a lot of cards, but it would have been a lot easier to have just gone for the draw against them. But even then, I guess I was getting banged on a bit. One of the weaknesses of Orcs, isn't it? If things don't go their way, they're a bit shit. Slow, no agility. They're not the best team to exploit the weaknesses of ogres. <laughs> 235 yeah I'm probably cursed in terms of casualties which is uh, which is true basically every high elf team isn't it <laughs> not the worst possible matchup but oh, they're not as good for orcs as they are for other teams well I say that orcs do have the block to hit snotlings, but, and to uphill block ogres, but, I wouldn't say, you know, I wouldn't say that ogres are that easy for orcs, that's all. I mean, plus it's low TV anyway, so like, but with these amount of skills, if that was Dark Elves, there'd be loads of blodge everywhere and they just couldn't stop the elves going wherever the fuck they wanted. Like, elves just ruin, or, like, elves of any variety ruin ogres. So straight away the bash teams don't beat ogres as consistently as agility teams. And then, of the bash teams, like, obviously orcs are way better than Nurgle are against ogres. But they don't have the speed of chaos and stuff, so like they're not they're not just definitely better than chaos against ogres, though they probably are because the block makes up for everything. Having been able to block three dice blocks, that thing's is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, twenty five percent ones apart from the uh, thing just literally nothing that the dice log is absolutely pointless what we need to campaign for is i shall do a video of it <laughs> what we need to campaign for is having 2d sixes um because there's there's d sixes and block dice is an option there should be a 2d6 as an option and on the 2d6 you could see the uh, armor rolls and the injury rolls that would be really good Oh, he can't, he can't stop himself getting surfed here. Just quietly. Three threes and two GFIs, or a four three. The four three. Oh, the four three is going to be worse, isn't it? I can't look at Goblin Spy. Fuck, I should get it on my phone. Right, what's this? Three three. Three three pluses or a four plus three plus. I'd rather not use a reroll though, wouldn't I? And I'd also rather be able to take a ball, a tri triple down, double down, whatever. Like, sorry, you can't get surfed. No, oh, yeah, okay. Because because Ducky wanted to get surfed and he couldn't. I said the wrong thing. He can't. He can't. Get himself surfed going that way. I guess I should have done this first, eh? That guy's just been. <laughs> 
being phased down all the time. Amazons would be a good team for wrestle spamming, wouldn't it? Because you can get, you can keep block on the, uh, you can keep block on the uh, blitzers and just give everyone else wrestle. I right, do I just two dice him and then hope. God, I need to re-roll it to go for the fucking draw. Fuck is this chance of a draw? Oh, I skipped the old Chile, does titties as well. Shit. I've got to protect against the throw teammate, haven't I? I think it's his most reliable way to two turn. Kislev wrestle, yeah. I guess a team that doesn't start with block is a good one, isn't it? Anything. Kislev wrestle would be, yeah, that's got to be one of the best, hasn't it? Wrestling, uh, wrestling, obviously wrestling dark elves would be really good. And wrestling high elves. Because you're seasick. No, I didn't. Didn't confirm it. <laughs> More fun or interesting teams to be streamed. Well, to me, the fun is trying to win, so... <laughs> no, I guess it's not much fun when I don't win. I'm, I really don't like just doing pointless stuff, you know. I really don't like it. Like when I got my promo account for, what's it called, Cross Out. It wasn't much fun just dicking around for no reason for me. Nah, I don't think so. Lemon is good because, because they've got a draw that they shouldn't fucking have. Thanks, Cyanide. 
If they were four and zero, oh, and this was four one, oh, I mean, if it, it could probably still lose anyway. But if it was four one zero, I'd keep them. But three one one makes me not want to keep them. It's fucking bullshit, isn't it? It's so fucked. Just getting fucked by cyanide really sucks. Really fucking sucks. It's not only fun when I win. It's but it's I, it's only fun trying to win. That's the thing, Tony. This this is where my friend um, said he was he he said he was really competitive, but he wasn't competitive. He just fucking cried when he lost. <laughs> you know? um, it's fun. It's fun. When it's not dicing. Yeah, exactly. But even even then, it's like it's fun. Sometimes it's fun getting banged on. You know. But um, for me, the fun is trying to win. It's like, yeah, it can be fun trying to win with halflings. But um, yeah, exactly. You can you like, but you're still trying to win, aren't you? You know, you're not just fucking going. Oh, I'll see if I can score or throw a teammate, and then just piss about the rest of the time and stuff. Like I don't know. To me, it's not fun just like picking, like you know, having. A Hail Mary pass on somebody and diving catch and then trying to do that and score. To me, that's not fun. It's just fucking stupid and pointless and shit and don't want to do it. But, um, yeah, it's trying to win. You know, I could, I could play ogres on fumble and then only win four out of sixteen. And yeah, exactly fast. And uh, you know, I could play ogres. I could play sixteen. Um, I could play sixteen games with ogres on fumble. Try to win all of them and only win four, and still be all right. But the, the, the important thing. Different way of winning. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. But you, you were saying if you're only happy when you win, you know, and that that's the thing. I'm. I can be happy when I don't win. <laughs> but the problem is with fucking champs ladder puts. Tremendous pressure on every game to be a win, doesn't it? Because, you know, it's like the thing is though, chaos team not even trying to go for the ball can still win doing that. So <laughs> um, it's basically a valid tactic, but um, yeah, I don't know. That like, that that's the problem with Cham Slider is that there's so much pressure on to win every game. If you think you're good, um, God, this is pretty hard to stop him, isn't it? Because, like, I just don't have the players there. I think I've just got a base, herb dirt, base, base, base people. And hope he fails with his uh, with zero rerolls. Should sidestep there. In my opinion. Hope he doesn't fucking score. It's true, Shawnee. I know it's like my fault, but that's the thing, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. I know it's my fault that I put myself under that pressure. But. <laughs> the gym rotational freak. It starts when um Well the rules are decided. So I just need to uh, push it more on Discord again. Okay, I mean we've got eight people in the Discord. Um So you know, it starts when it starts. Even Ducky can't survive on this team. 
Maybe I should have kept the minus edge, to be fair. Having a mighty blow is pretty important. Also, he could have got he could have got MVP and skilled up to Pom, couldn't he? But Imprint or Augustus gets mighty blow now, so. It's not that big of a loss. And, uh, right, I guess don't have to sack Ducky yet. So I'll do that in future. Right, um, and then I'll buy an Orc. Buy another Orc Blitzer before the next game. So, thanks for watching. 4 one zero now, they should be. And then I wouldn't want to delete them. 3 one, one I kind of want to delete them, but never mind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.